Are you ready to make this adorable two-tiered storage with something you probably have in your house right now? Let's get started. Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer. I'm super excited to show you how to make this cute little storage unit today. It's really windy outside, so you're probably gonna hear my wind chimes. I personally love them. Hopefully you don't mind them in the background, but it's so windy. I was looking at Instagram and I saw this adorable two-tiered storage and I immediately recognized what it was made from, but it's one of those plastic tube hangers that we all have in our closets. And I thought it was so cute. I didn't want to leave the house though to go get this wooden crate that they showed it made with from the Dollar Tree. So I opted to do it with whatever I had lying around the house, which is what I'm always encouraging you to do. DIY, upcycle, use what you have. Crafting and organizing does not have to be expensive. This would be better with the wood crates because I do think it's super cute and it would be a little bit more sturdy but I happen to have these two little plastic baskets so here's how I made it so with just the two simple baskets some zip ties and then of course the plastic hanger you'll want something to cut it with I used a wire cutter but a pair of clippers not scissors will be better I found the center and then I just snipped it it was super easy to cut I also cut off the little hook portion and that way I could get to the center of the other part of the hanger. I tried to cut away the little support piece here but because it's thin it started shooting everywhere so I opted to just cut down the middle first and then I could get rid of the extra. Once I had it in two pieces I did cut them so they would be the same length. So some sort of a grid or ruler will really help to make sure that you've got all of those even points. I lined it up again so I could make doubly sure I was cutting the other piece the same. If you have a hard time cutting it, just drag the cutter around and score it a little bit and this will then snap right off. I then cut off any of the little extra pieces on the inside so I would have two smooth supports. If you do have any rough spots, just get a file or a nail file and smooth those sharp pieces off. Once you have that done, you are ready to connect. This is such a fast and easy project. Now there is a straight portion and a curved portion on the hanger. I'm going to have the straight portion on the back. Once I had that lined up and I had it in the back corner and kind of guesstimated where I wanted it to be, it was time for me to go ahead and start getting out those zip ties and attaching it. Now if you plan on putting heavier things in these, I would double up the adhesive by adding some E6000 and some hot glue. But for me, I was using it more as a decorative piece, so I just used the zip ties. I went from the inside so that I wouldn't see the connector that much. And if you were attaching this to a cardboard box or one of those little wooden tote pieces, just drill a small hole through it. But because I'm using a weave basket that already has holes in it, it made it super easy. So I just lined it up. You can adjust this, even if you're using the E6000 or the hot glue, you'll have some time to go ahead and maneuver it around to get it set up perfectly. Once I got that in, I went ahead and just tightened it up and I kept playing as I tightened it so that the extra part where it connects together would be out of the way because sometimes when you cut the excess off of a zip tie, the little remnant is sharp. So I want to try and have it out of the way just to make sure I don't ever get caught with it. Now I can go ahead and attach the second zip tie towards the front. This one, because it's at an angle, was a little bit more difficult. So if you are using a similar basket, I very much would recommend using the E6000 and some hot glue just to make sure it really stays in place. Because I was opting to not do that, I had a little more difficulty with it popping out. Now it was time to attach the second one and I just followed the exact same things. You'll want to double check and make sure you have the straight piece in the same direction. And I also made sure that I had the same little holes that I was attaching it to so that it was symmetrical. 
So follow the same steps, making sure that the connector is towards the back so that when you cut off the excess, it is not in the way. Attach the front piece. This really was a simple project. In making sure I had them lined up, I had lined it up with the wrong hole. So do double check that just to make sure it's as sturdy as possible. And I do like that symmetry so that when it's all put together, it looks nice. Now that that's done, I can go ahead and start deciding where I want that top basket to be placed. I did want the ability to be able to reach in easily, so I opted for mine to be attached towards the front of the top basket. That way that bottom basket has complete easy access. So I'm going to attach mine to the front corner of the angle first. That way I really make sure that on the second one I'm locking in that anchor point. So once again, coming from the inside out, and then I'm gonna to go to this second piece and attach from that same corner. And for some reason, I was having difficulty with this zip tie, so it is easier if you glue it just for that so it stays in place. And see, mine popped out, so glue would be helpful if you want to make sure it's super sturdy. But once I was able to actually pull the zip ties close, everything squared up very nicely. So now I can attach the last zip ties to the top to make sure that that top basket is level. I chose when I set this up to have it angled along with the handle of the basket so that it would be nice and squared. So once again, I'm just going to come in and make sure that the connection point on my zip tie is on the inside of the basket. I'll do that second one and I am almost done with this project. You guys, this was such a cute one. I'd love to see what you do. And if you use larger size baskets, you can make larger, obviously, storage units. So the last thing to do is trim off all of those little extra parts of the zip ties and then I'm ready to decorate. So here is the original and you'll notice that they have theirs completely on the ground and I do like that because it means you have complete access but for where I was putting it I didn't want it to be that deep. So here's some examples. Here's one of my coffee bar for my cocos and little accessories that go in my coffee. You could use this if you have a small gaming station. You could use this on your vanity if you've got a lot of small toiletries. You could even use this in your entryway as a cute place to collect your keys, remotes, gum, wallet, small things like that. I wanted to use mine in my bathroom. So I've got all my cute little jars for my cotton balls, my Q-tips. I even have a small container that I keep my rings in the back just so they stay dry from the shower and from dust. So this was such a quick, quick project. And again, I got to use things that I had lying around my house. So if you have a nice thick cardboard box, for example, you could cut it in half, cover it with ever wrapping paper, contact paper, and then use the hanger the same way to make two tiers. Or you can go buy larger size baskets, boxes. The crate is so cute and I have to confess I do want to try that. I love the wood with the black look that would match my area here but for my bathroom I wanted the all white so I think it's super cute. Shout out to Bird's Nest Studio for this idea and I believe they got it from someone else so check out their site which has the original link to whomever thought of it originally but I love this idea. It was a very quick and fun project and I love it in my bathroom now. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do so. I'm always bringing you videos on ways to organize, declutter, do DIYs, upcycles, and anything crafty. I've talked about how to organize when you're overwhelmed before, but this next video is really going to break down so that it's manageable, bite-sized chunks. So hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. As always, thank you to my patrons. I would not be able to make these videos if it weren't for their help. So if you're interested in supporting my channel, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can check the Patreon link, you can click like, you can leave a comment, and you can subscribe. Until then, thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.